Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I wanted to showcase the Sketchfab Asset Browser, uh, which is a drag and drop one-stop solution to getting Sketchfab assets directly into your project by just one click of a button. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first up to download the plugin, go to the link in the description, uh, github.com slash sketchfab slash unreal dash plugin. Uh, these are the supported versions, 4.26, 4.25. And essentially what Sketchfab plugin does is it allows you to import uh, any of the assets from Sketchfab. It's a built-in asset browser, and you can pretty much double click on any of the models that you see and drag it into your project with all the materials and everything set up. So I'll actually show you how to install it. So go to the link here, click release for 4.26. Then you're gonna see the sketchfab.zip, click on that. And once it's downloaded here, you just extract the file. And then we're gonna go ahead and create just a new blank project to show you how to do this. Just name a sketchfab plugin. And once you load it up, you can go ahead and just close out of it. Then go to your Unreal Projects folder. So wherever you created that project folder, you can find this by going to your projects, right click on the project you created and click show in folder, and that will pull up the window. In here, we'll create a new folder, name this plugins, and just drag the Sketchfab plugin into there. Then you can go ahead and launch your project again. And to double check, you can go to edit plugins, search sketchfab and you can see there it's enabled so to pull up the asset browser all you have to do is go to window and down here asset browser and this will pull up the sketchfab asset browser so the first thing that you'll need to do is actually create a sketchfab account to download any of the assets here so just go to sketchfab.com and you can go ahead and create a new account here once you do, you can go ahead and log in here at the top. Just click that button. All right, and once you're logged in, you can pretty much browse and download whatever you want here. So a few things to note, you can filter all of the content here by categories. And also to load more, you can click this load more button. Okay, so right now it's just doing all the different categories. So you can see here we have a, we have a wide range of assets. You can see we you know, have cameras, we have cars here, different sort of things. So if you wanna download something, you can just double click on it. And I'll actually show the asset information. So you can see stuff like the vertex count, face count, the actual size of the file. Over here is the license. So you can see here commercial use is allowed. So some of the models in here um, are, you can use for commercial use. So you can put them into your games. Some of them are not for commercial, so you can just mess around with them and have it in your project, but you can't sell that game with that asset in it. So to actually download the model, you just click the download button. And what it will do is it will start downloading the file and you will notice it complete when this, this blue bar here is full. And then to import it into your project, you can just drag and drop it into your project and click accept. And so now it'll start importing the model and it'll set up automatically all the materials and everything. Okay, and you can see here it's in the bottom left, so I can go ahead and pull this thing open. So here's a model, it's quite big it looks like. So actually, let me just go ahead and drag it in the scene and scale it down. So one thing to note is that this scale comes defaulted to what it was in uh, Sketchfab to whatever the creator of the model set it to. So just note that you're gonna have to either play around with the scale or if you're going to use it other than static, you might need to do some messing around with it in Blender. But yeah, as you can see here, we have the model here imported right into our project literally just a drag and drop. All the materials are all set up here. We really didn't have to do any work at all. Okay, and we can also do this backpack model here. Double click, 
download and then drag it into your project and there we go here's our backpack model right here imported to unreal we have all the materials set up and look at that just like that it took one click it took about less than 30 seconds obviously we could scale this thing down that's pretty much the plugin um, there's just a lot of different assets here so we can click and filter by category we can do something like cars and vehicles so you can click load more here and we'll just uh, buffer some more different models all of these models are pretty much free I don't only display all the free ones I think it also can display the ones that aren't free that you've purchased but yeah pretty much every single model that you see here is free to download unfortunately not all of them though are commercially allowed to use some of these say commercial use you know it's not allowed so you can't use it for your commercial game but yeah even then you could just use it for your project you know if you're blocking something out real quick you just need a really quick asset in your scene or maybe you're just messing around with the engine you're not really making anything commercial uh, you're just messing around and the neat thing is is you can actually even if it's really high uh, polys and all that stuff you can obviously go into your auto LODs and crank this thing up apply changes and you can start baking out your LODs and stuff like that yeah I mean honestly there's just the massive library of Sketchfab and if you've ever used if you ever downloaded models from Sketchfab you'll know how it's a struggle to set up all the materials and import it all into Unreal because uh, you know you have to download the FPX file or sometimes OBJ and you have to convert that in Blender uh, so really this speeds up the process of doing that and it's quite literally the entire Sketchfab asset library built into Unreal so so yeah if you guys are looking for a quick way to get high quality free assets into your game go ahead and download the Sketchfab plugin for Unreal Engine I'll leave a link in the description below uh, they are also a epic mega grant recipient uh, as of recently so they're going to be working on updating the plugin itself adding more features and stuff like that obviously it would also be nice to have some more filters you know you could filter by the models that you already have downloaded I'd also like to see you know an actual download button so you can see the progress of the download and then maybe also filter by license so you can know uh, which ones are available to use in your commercial game and which ones aren't but yeah other than that definitely check out this plugin I'll leave a link in the description below uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next one.